Hello, Ms. Neville Science students. Here's our first recorded lesson about the introduction um, to biology. Our learning objective for this week is going to be a, is to be um, able to find and communicate the four characteristics of any living thing or organism. As we talk about um, biology throughout this, the next seven weeks, it's important for you to understand and be able to um, compare and contrast the differences and similarities between the different types of organisms that we'll study. In this unit, we're going to study plants, animals, bacteria, and fungi. So what is biology? That word literally means the study of life. Bio means life, logi means the study of. So when we're talking about life or living things, everything that we'll discuss is talking about how life continues and what processes have been created for life to continue. So what makes a living thing living? When we're thinking about um, different types of organisms or living things, it's important for us to understand that the organisms that we will study as sixth grade scientists will include plants, animals, fungi, and bacteria. There are some non-living things that you see every day. I'm just gonna list some. There are many things that are not living. Rocks aren't living, bricks, shoes. So these things are things that are not organisms. And the things in the left are things that are organisms. When you compare them, you'll notice there are certain things that plants, animals, fungi, and bacteria are able to do that rocks, bricks, and shoes are not able to do. So when we're talking about some characteristics of living things, it's important for us to know that a characteristic is a trait a trait used to describe something. For example, a characteristic of my jacket is that it's blue and black, and there's a little bit of yellow and gold in it for LBC. My hair is dark brown and curly. I wear glasses. Uh, I have braces. All of these are things that describe me, okay? So when we're discussing the characteristics or traits of a living thing, it's important for us to know that all living things must be able to do these three, four things. All organisms must be able to reproduce, respond to changes, that's inside changes and outside changes. They must be able to grow and develop, and they must be able to gather food, water, air for energy.